Hello everyone, welcome to the video submission of DJS Antariksh. I am Ojas Chanakya, the captain of the team. For the 10th edition of the European Rover Challenge, we proudly present our latest rover, Vidya. DJS Antariksh is participating in the European Rover Challenge 2024 on-site edition. DJS Antariksh is the official Martian rover team of Dwarka Das Te Sanvi College of Engineering, Mumbai, India. The captain leads the team with the vice captains and team manager providing essential support. The integration heads promote interdepartmental collaboration. For internal operations, our team is divided into five departments: mechanical, electronics, coding, science, and marketing, each with its own head. I'm Anirudh Krishna, the electronics head at DJ Santrich. The electronics department is responsible for managing the power distribution, telemetry, data acquisition, and actuation subsystems of the rover. Furthermore, it is also responsible for the seamless integration between the coding and the mechanical department, ensuring optimal functioning of the rover. I'm Chinmay Gotarne, one of the vice captain and mechanical head of the team. The department oversees the designing and construction of rover main structure and its various components, providing opportunities to apply its learning to the real-world projects and applications. It is interesting to see that the component we manufacture plays an important role in the success of our team. I'm Chaitanya Shah, the coding editor at DJ Kantrish. The department's primary objective is to ensure the autonomy of the rover and the precision of its robotic arm. This year, we also aim to achieve the autonomy of the drone. It feels great to see these autonomous movements contributing to advancing technology and space exploration. I'm Divyam Dedia, the science head of the team. The science department of DJ Kantrish explores the Martian surface, utilizing principles of astrobiology, geology, and planetary science to do so. We at the science department aim to tackle complex problems that humanity will eventually face when we set foot on the red planet. I am Bhavyan Dayya. I am Mitchura Sanjay. And we are the marketing heads at Team DJA Sanjay. The marketing department is responsible for actively seeking out monetary and in-kind sponsorships. From designing the team merchandise to actively maintain our social media presence, it's all-encompassing in marketing. And only that, the department also works on the official team documentation. And expand its horizon by networking and outreaching with industry experts. We experienced the excitement of on-site competition for the first time, witnessing the cutting-edge technology. This year, we are even more prepared to showcase our capabilities and push the boundaries of innovation in space exploration, fueled by our passion and determination to explore the wonders of the universe. Participating in the European Rover Challenge, organized by European Space Foundation, is an exceptional opportunity for Team DJ Santosh. It's not just a competition; it's a special chance for us to showcase our creative and technical prowess, pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Our The mechanical department has engineered a four-wheel independent steering system, which utilizes double rocker mechanism, which, when coupled with a chassis made of aluminium extrusion profiles, facilitates smooth travel over varied terrains. For independent motion of each wheel, we have integrated split-ring planetary gear box, which helps achieve high reduction ratio. Also, the differential bar placed under the chassis helps maintain the structural stability of the rover. To ensure optimal traction, 3D printed TPU wheels with thunderstrip patterns are used. As compared to last year, the wheels have low infill for better deformation and shock absorption. The robotic arm with six degrees of freedom is equipped with hydraulic gears at its initial three joints to reduce backlash and give precise motion. Moreover, the end deflector mounted on the robotic arm is equipped with interchangeable fingers to perform versatile tasks. It can easily grip objects up to a length of 18 cm. Perhaps the most unique feature is a deep sampling mechanism, seemingly integrating two mechanisms which are the drilling and a collection into one. It incorporates a lead screw mechanism with track rollers to reduce friction while performing vertical prismatic motion. Our telemetry system operates at a 5 GHz frequency band with a range of 150 meters in non-line of sight conditions. The rover has an omnidirectional antenna while the base station is equipped with a high gain sector antenna. At the heart of our rover is the Nvidia Jetson Xavier NX. driving our rover's decision making processes with unparalleled efficiency to stop the rover in case of emergency there are two kill switches on the rover one for shutting down the entire system and other for stopping its motion the acrylic electronics box houses batteries and various other subsystems and it does not stop here our power distribution pcb has been refined to maximize performance and durability ensuring that the rover can withstand the harsh conditions of the competition tasks our improved pcb uses smds to aid for better space utilization enabling the development of complex circuits they improve the performance of the circuitry when compared to through hole components the rover houses a battery management system isolating the battery in an event of overcurrent or under voltage conditions thereby increasing the safety of the rover operation The rover's surface stack is divided into two main components: navigation and the robotic arm. For autonomous navigation, a 3D point cloud is created using stereo camera, 
which is further used to create cost map of the terrain. Localization is achieved using external Kalman filters to fuse visual odometry data and data from the IMU Alvin algorithms. Aruko markers detected using robust computer vision algorithms are used as anchor points to aid in localization. Global and local path planners in the navigation stack utilize HR algorithm with dynamic window approach to move around obstacle and reach the desired goal. For robotic arm, its URF representation paired with encoder value is used to model simulation environment, taking in the depth data from Intel ES and V435 depth time. This allows the operator to have a better judgment and joint awareness during operation. Commands are passed using the Mavlink protocol to the drone's flight controller. Simulink and MATLAB's automatic code generation are used to test custom drone controls using software in the loop model followed by hardware in the loop model. The flight data is monitored using Q-Ground control to validate the performance. The science task consists of three subtasks, each simulating the scientific activities performed by the rover on Mars. These tasks include the exploration task, the surface and deep sampling task, and the construction task. The auger mechanism will be used to collect deep soil samples, and the robotic arm will be used to collect the surface and rock samples. These samples will be stored in separate storage containers attached with load cells to avoid any contamination and assuring accurate weight analysis. Our new Raman spectrometer will be utilized to analyze elements present in the soil sample with unprecedented detail. Additionally, the sensors mounted on the rover will also help in further analysis of the Martian atmosphere and Martian soil. By conducting in-depth research and analysis of the previous relevant work about the Martian region to be explored, the team will be well equipped to prepare the science planning report and the science regional geology analysis. As Valles Marineris is a major Martian landform, it needs to be studied in great detail. Therefore, we utilize software like JMARS and Google Earth Pro, as well as the 3D models which the team has obtained to understand the intricacies of the red planet and also conduct all-round research about the Martian terrain. DJS Alteration is grateful for the support from our college and our sponsors. Taking part in the European Rover Challenge is an amazing experience for us because it helps us enhance our technical and management skills. We took our rover to various exhibitions and conducted workshops to spread awareness about space exploration. Along this journey, we met amazing people from all around the world who shared our passion in advancing space exploration. Hence, we are eager to take part in the 10th edition of the European Rover Challenge.